What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe After Effects, and we're going to be creating this. All right, about a year or so ago, uh, about two years actually, I uh, uploaded a video to YouTube that was a text to sound effect, and it was using Trap Code Form. However, I wasn't too crazy about how it looked. I just did not like the way that the uh, trap code form, at least in my project, looked. And so um, I went and I did some research and I found the um, using particular is how we can get something like this. Now, with a lot of different settings, you can probably do the same thing using trap code form. However, it doesn't look uh, like I said to me it's just more vibrant this way so uh, we got to give uh, special thanks out yonder to uh, Michael Park for uh, his lesson on using the trap code particular to create the text to sand effect okay so let's go ahead and jump into this first thing we want to do is we want to come over here hold down the alt key and change our bits per channel to 32 now let's come over here and with the shortcut keys control or command N let's go ahead and create a new composition we're going to name this text source 1280 by 720 24 frames per second at six seconds long let's click OK let's come over here and let's add in our text we're going to do dark effects and let's use our title action safe to align it to the center and that looks good right there cut that off now let's come over here to our effects and then let's come down to noise and grain and turbulent noise let's change our contrast well first let's try and change fractal type from basic to rocky contrast to 250 Holding down the Alt key, click on Evolution. Type in the following, Time, Time, 250. Come down here to Evolution Options. Change turbulent, Turbulence Factor to 4. And then Random Seed to 100. And this right here is going to give us this nice little transition effect. It almost looks like our text is trying to come apart really really cool little um, add-in to our project right there okay let's come back over to our project and drop this into a new composition and now let's uh, bring in a new solid by control or command Y we're gonna name this one wipe 1280 by 720 and then click on our color make sure that it is all zeros you gotta have all zeros if it is not all zeros then it will mess up our sand our text to sand effect so all zero black background click ok click ok again okay with our wipe let's come over here to effect generate cc light sweep First thing I want to do is on our direction, hit zero. Then grab a hold of this little bitty circle right here, drag it all the way over. And now create a keyframe. Come out to our four second mark. Grab a hold of it again, drag it all the way over to the other side. And then that will create our transition between the two sides. On sweep intensity we're going to change that to 120 okay so now come down to text source track mat if you do not see track mat come down and toggle switches and modes and then click it back choose luma mat wipe and this is what we get okay so now the next thing we want to do is drag this over to project and then drag both of these First, let's change our text source 2 to text wipe. And then drag both of these into a new composition, single composition, click OK. Choose our text white. Come up here to effects, generate, fill. It's going to add in a red, so we're going to get something like this. Come over here to text source, 
come to effect transition linear wipe okay the first thing that we want to do is that we want to bring this up to 100 so that we can actually see it I'm going to change this to half and then that way we can go through it full bogged it down just a little bit too much what we want to do is that we want to bring our red right there at the beginning right before it comes on about right up in there we want to create a transition completion keyframe right there we want to come all the way to the end right as it comes off and then we want to go to 100 percent and then we should have something like this okay clicking on our text source and hitting U will display our keyframes and then we can look and see make sure that everything is going on as it's supposed to be and the reds coming on just perfect there and we come over here and it comes off just perfect there so everything looks good so let's go ahead and drop this back down to 50 and let's take this down to a third. Next thing we want to do is come back up to our text wipe and we want to click on FX to disable it. Next we want to bring in a new solid, so Control Y, Command Y, and this is particular. Same settings, black background, click OK. Effect, trap code, particular. Okay, with our text wipe, click down here to toggle switches and modes. We want to change it to a 3D layer and switch it off. Click on particular, come over here, emitter. We want to change this to 50,000. One, two, three, four. And let's bring this out just a little bit. Okay, on point, we're going to change it to layer. We're going to change to, uh, all these to a zero. Come over here to layer emitter. Click on layer, none to text wipe. And then for layer sampling from steel to particle birth time. And then layer RGB usage to none. And then if we drag this out, you can already see that our text is already starting to change. Next thing we want to do is come down here to particles. And since we've got this set at six seconds long, we want to change our particle life to six as well. Let's come down here to our size. We want to change this to 2. And then our size random to 25. And this will make it to where it's moving around just a little bit. Okay, now let's come down here to our physics. And choose air physics. Let's change our spin amplitude to 20. Come down here to our wind X. This right here is going to move it to our left. So we want to make it a negative 300. And then our wind Y, we want to make it go up. So we're going to do this as a negative 200. Next thing that we want to do is come down here to our turbulence field. We want to make our effect position 400. So right here we give it a little bit of a wiggle. As you can see right there, it's sort of like a wiggle. Let's bring this up to about a half so we can see it a little bit better. As you can see there, we got sort of like a wiggle going on. Let's drop this back down to a third. And next thing that we want to do is come down here to our move with wind. And we want to change this to 150. So right here, we'll allow it to move a little bit more with the wind, almost like it's uh, blowing breezy windy day okay and uh, so this is basically where Mike had left off at and so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this one step further so what we're going to do now is that um, uh, let's come over here to begin with uh, as you can see we've got a, a cutting of our of our letters and that's not what we want that's not the effect that we want so let's come over here to our text source linear wipe and feather we're going to set this at 40 and now you can see it right there it's sort of instead of it cutting it off it sort of fades it out that way we've got just a little bit better of a transition 
to where it actually looks like the uh, text is actually disintegrating and that is the effect that we want we want it to disintegrate and with the black right there it looks like it's grabbing from the center and pulling it out so it's just all together a really really cool effect and so all right now let's jump back over here to particular let's come down here and let's go to auxiliary system from the emit let's uh, turn it uh, on to continuously let's come all the way back up here to our particle size and let's change this to zero drag it all the way back down okay first thing we want to do is for our particles per second we're going to change it to five our life is going to go to 0 0.3 then we're going to come down here to our size we're going to make this a one our opacity is 100 then we're going to come over here to our color over life we're going to change it to the very bottom click here on this swatch and that's going to make it like a black like a really dark purple actually is the color that we're going for okay bring that back up and now we're going to come down and change the transfer mode from normal to add come down here to our physics air mode only and wind effect we're going to change it to 200 and then our turbulence position we're going to change that to 100 drop down once again to randomness and we're going to make our life 100 our size 100 and our opacity 70. so that right there as you can see uh, gives us a really cool effect on our text as it's going through so now but we can hardly see it and the reason why we can hardly see it is that there's just not enough particles so we're going to come over here to our particles per second and we're going to change this to one million so that's one and one two three four five six zeros click on enter and there we go now we can definitely see as the particles are leaving our letters giving it a really cool uh sand effects coming off from each one of our letters and so this is what we were hunting for this is what we were wanting to do but to make it even nicer we're going to make it uh shine just a little bit so how we make it shine is we're going to uh, come over here to layer new adjustment layer we're going to take this adjustment layer and we're going to drop it below our particle and we're going to name this one glow we're going to come over here to effect oops effect da, 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 stylize glow almost forgot where it was at our glow threshold is going to be 25 our radius is going to be 40 and our intensity is going to be a 0.2 come down here to original colors and change that to a and b colors come down here to color a click on it and we want to change this to the following one and then our g is going to be 0.9216 next one is going to be 0.3265 now these colors right here are very high colors if it, we were set at 8 bits per channel we would not be able to get these high colors that's the reason why we're setting at 32 bits per channel the higher the color the more vibrant okay the the higher the bits per channel the more vibrant the colors are and so that's what we're wanting to get to so let's click OK there click on the black and we want to change this one to the following one our G is 0.502 and then this one gets left at zero and as you can see we've got our uh, sand is just a little bit more vibrant in color so let's cut it off and then take another look at it and so it just it looks a lot better than having it it's plain so now we're going to add in one more and we're going to actually duplicate this one we're going to take this one and put it above here and then we're going to make the following changes to it on our color we're going to bring it up and we're going to change it to the following point two three five three next one is going to be 
point zero one one eight and then point nine six eight six let's click OK then come over here to color B change this to zero and then the next one is point zero zero three nine and then point five three seven three and click OK and this right here just just makes it pop out a lot more than what it was before I mean it gives it a really really cool effect and then if we come over here and render it out okay now as you can see it just it looks really really cool and the color is very vibrant but whenever we come over here to full um, my computer's not really going to allow me to uh, show you exactly what it looks like in full it's going to take just a little bit too much but there we go see all of the vibrant colors on this right here it just looks really really good I mean just a really cool effect now I'm sure that y'all are going to enjoy it and I hope this is what y'all expected from uh, waiting all this time and uh, for all you trap code form fans I'm sorry that I did not do one I might take a look at it later on and see if I can actually make it look the way I want it to look uh, there's probably some more that can be done to this one right here to make it look better but you know for right now I'm very happy with it I'm very pleased with it it's it's a really cool effect and so uh, but yeah I mean I I hope it is what y'all expected so Wayne Barron here with darkeffects.net and uh, this is our dark effects text the sand effect by trap code particular all right y'all have a rocking weekend stay safe stay dry do not text and drive all right bye-bye